What are the three most important things women should do when it comes to preventative care? Well, number one, you need a partner. You need a doctor who's actually going to know something about the issues that are important to you. And too often when women hit midlife, they're going to the obstetrician that delivered their kids or to maybe a family practitioner who may or may not know anything about this. So you have to identify someone who has not only an interest but a true expertise in midlife women's issues. Mm -hmm. And one of the best ways to find that person is to go to a, there's a, a menopause organization, NAMS, and if you go to menopause.org and you put in your zip code, and you will find someone who really, really knows this stuff. So that's number one. Number two, and I hate to say this because women are tired of hearing this, but it's the weight, the weight, the weight. Really? You know, when you hear about women and obesity, and people always think about heart disease and, and all these other things, but from a gynecologic point of view, there are some very specific issues that women deal with because they are overweight. Cancer, the number one gynecologic cancer in the country right now is, no one ever guesses this right, uterine cancer, number one, directly related to obesity. Really? Breast cancer, related to obesity. Incontinence, just to return to that, right. related to obesity. And aside from you know sexual health and all of that, all of these things are tied into obesity. So if we're talking about preventative care, what I tell women is starting at age 40, they had two pounds a year that you think is no big deal. Well, guess what? 20 years later, that two pounds a year is gonna be 60 pounds. And number three is keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. We have a sedentary society, and not only does this impact on weight, but we're talking arthritis, we're talking heart health.